I'm exploring the intersection of biological and artificial intelligence. So I'm basically building biocomputers in which computer systems are interacting with forms of life. For previous work, I had the opportunity to um, make unicellulars compete on the video games or produce an installation in which um, digital money were growing on tree. Currently, I'm involved uh, in a project that is looking at the way ants and ant colony are producing architectural structures. And during the bad award, I had the opportunity to collaborate on the production of a project that involved photosynthetic bacteria and uh, artificial ecosystems and markets. CMD is an installation in which an artificial ecosystem that is comprised of photosynthetic bacteria are sharing a light source. And the access to this light source is regulated through a market. So each of the bacteria colony can claim access to light thanks um, to money that they earn uh, through their oxygen production. So in this project, there are three kinds of intelligence interacting together. There is the biological form of intelligence that the bacteria can exhibit. There is the computing abilities of the bioreactors who basically just want the bacteria to stay alive. And then there's a third form of, of computing and cognition, which is the one of the genetic algorithm that is managing the market. So those three entities want things pretty different. So that when they interact together, some new political system can emerge uh, out of the complexity of these interactions. In these bioreactors, there are colonies of spirulinas. Those bacteria account together for almost 80% of the oxygen production on the planet. What they want mostly is to grow, they want to reproduce, and under good conditions, they can reproduce every day. The bioreactors are sensing their oxygen production and their growth. So basically the system starts with a blank uh, knowledge uh, of the situation. So each of the Bay reactors have the same amount of money and they have like a blank understanding of the world basically. All of the bacterial colonies start with the same concentration and they come from the same uh, strand. The complexity of the system emerged from the fact that one light for many bioreactors is not enough. Maybe one good solution would be to just kill off most of the bioreactors ex except one and like put all of your, all of your money on one colony. Um, but maybe it's not. <laughs> Out of this situation of scarcity, creative solutions for collaboration or competition need to emerge. There is one rule which is the, um, the price of light if you buy it for your neighbor instead of buying it for yourself, which is a variable. It could be less than if you buy it for yourself or more than if you buy it for yourself. So this market is pushing collaboration or competitions. There's nothing that tells you that all of the bioreactors will produce the same quantity of oxygen. Uh, anything could happen, they could be contaminated or they could um, die for some reasons. So given that, there is no obvious solution and the interesting thing is to watch this happen throughout the entire exhibition. So we made it so that during the three months of the show, uh, we see the system drifting from collaboration to competition back and forth. That's something that started happening a while ago in the world of agriculture and in general of uh, ecosystem management. We started trading our uh, human workforce with machines workforce and now uh, we're trying to optimize our strategy through yeah, basically computerized system um, in terms of uh, how do you manage crops or any natural resources basically. So there is definitely a parallel to that. Um, it's this idea that like when you try to manage something at large scale with large data sets and large computing power, there will be this process happening of sensing and mapping, basically. So what risk is there inherent to the fact of using large scale computerized system in the management of natural assets or ecosystem? And yeah, basically how do you design the algorithms to be foolproof or to, to avoid um, ecological uh, catastrophes? <laughs>